Hey everybody, it's Sam here from Sugar Spun Run, and today I'm showing you how to make these patriotic star-spangled cookies. These red, white, and blue cookies are great for making for Memorial Day or 4th of July or any other patriotic holiday, or really any time of the year. Now, today I'm just going to be showing you how to decorate these cookies. You are going to need to start by already having your cookies made. I'm going to leave a link to the recipe that I use in the description, but just about any sugar cookie or shortbread cookie will work really well. My recipe is a buttery shortbread-like cookie, and when you're making them, you wanna make sure you make your cookies pretty thick. As you can see, mine are a little over a quarter of an inch thick. This is going to make it a lot easier to dip and decorate them. So once you have your cookies made and cooled, we can make our icing. You are going to need three cups of powdered sugar for today's recipe. Now for best results, I really recommend that you sift your powdered sugar before you use it. It's just going to make the glaze less likely to have little bumps in it. Once you have your sugar sifted and measured out, you're going to need to add three tablespoons of corn syrup. This is light corn syrup. You'll also need to add three to four tablespoons of milk. We're going to start with just three tablespoons and then add more if needed. I also like to add a half teaspoon of vanilla extract for a little flavor, as well as one fourth teaspoon of almond extract. Now stir this together until your mixture is completely combined. So I can already tell that this is just too thick, so I'm going to add my remaining tablespoon of milk. We might even need to add a little bit more, that's completely fine, but we're just going to add that last tablespoon for now. Now this glaze should be thick when you're finished with it, but it is very important that you have the right consistency or else it's not going to really work well when we go to dip our cookies. So as you can see here, if I lift the spoon out of the glaze, the ribbon that falls back into the glaze, it holds its shape for a couple seconds, but less than five seconds before it absorbed or is absorbed back into the rest of the glaze. That's how I know we are ready to move on to our next step. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually divide this icing into about four bowls. We do wanna focus on just coloring one bowl of glaze at a time, because if you color all of them and then start dipping in just one bowl, that surface could start to solidify and then your cookies aren't going to be dipped properly. It'll look a little bit messy. So we're just gonna focus on this bowl for now. The next thing you're going to need is your food coloring. I really, really recommend using gel food coloring for today's recipe. Now the color is just so vibrant and a little bit goes a very long way. I will be sure to link to everything that I'm using today in the description below. Now, the colors that I'm using today are Americolor Red Red and Americolor Electric Blue. You can use any variation you want, but I've just found this gives my cookies the nice, bright, vibrant red and blue that I'm looking for. Another very important thing to note is that food coloring stains really easily. So in case you can't tell, I've already covered my entire work surface with wax paper. This is going to catch any spills and keep me from staining my countertop. Now there are two other things you wanna have ready before you begin, and that is toothpicks. You're going to need a bunch of toothpicks. And this is optional, but it really makes the cookies pop. I'm going to be using Silver Star Sprinkles. Again, I'll link to these in the description. There's one other thing I like to use to decorate these cookies, and that's a little bit of luster dust. Now, this is optional. It's just a sparkly dust that you can usually find in cake shops or even in some craft stores, and a little bit goes a long way. I barely have any on the bottom of my little sprinkle container here, but it's going to cover all of the cookies. Now let's go ahead and start swirling our icing. The first thing that we're going to do is you'll take the cap off of your gel food coloring, and you're going to take a toothpick and dip it in one of the colors. Make sure you have a good bit on there. And then we're just going to kind of pierce the surface of the frosting. We're gonna do this a couple times. Now get rid of this toothpick and you're going to need a fresh one. We're going to take our fresh toothpick and we'll do the same thing with our blue food coloring. Now you're going to need a third toothpick and we're going to use this to drag it through our icing, making sure you hit those pockets of red and blue food coloring until you have a nice swirl. Now don't swirl it too much or you'll end up with a purple icing. Now grab your cookie and you wanna grab it by the base, so keep your fingers really low, that way you don't end up coloring them. And we're going to dip this straight into our icing, let any excess icing drizzle off for a second, and then we'll flip that over and we're gonna transfer it to our cooling rack. And again, remember you wanna have wax paper under this so that any food coloring that drips doesn't stain your countertop. 
Now, as soon as you've dipped your cookie, if you are using these Silver Star sprinkles, you're going to want to just sprinkle a few over your cookies. And if you're using Luster Dust, you wanna do that now before your icing hardens as well. Now, we'll just repeat this process until this icing is too muddled to use anymore. So this bowl is starting to look pretty muddled. It's not gonna give us really pretty cookies anymore. So we're going to swap this out with a new bowl of icing and we're going to do the same thing. Now, as you just saw, you don't need a lot of icing in each bowl. In fact, if you can, I recommend stretching this to five or six bowls and you only need a little bit of icing in each bowl. That's because you're only going to be able to color about five or six cookies before the icing gets too buttled that the cookies aren't going to look very pretty anymore. So just a little bit of icing in each bowl is going to make it stretch a lot further. The cookie icing will firm up completely, but it is going to take several hours for the cookies to be stackable and the icing to be completely hard. Once they have cooled, you can go ahead and serve and enjoy. Look how pretty these look. And as you saw, they're very simple to make. This is a very easy way to decorate cookies. I really think you guys are going to love this technique as much as I do. If you tried this recipe out, please let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm. Hey, if you guys enjoyed today's Star Spangle Cookie recipe video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, if you enjoyed today's recipe, here are a few others you might like as well.